Hello everyone, this is Kamachi, Application Architect at MSD Solution and uh, this is my LinkedIn ID on Twitter. You can reach out to me anytime or Teams or uh, through email channels. So today I'm going to present a topic, Community Deployment through Experience Bundle. So far we have deployed communities through uh, not a human readable format. Uh, so now everything is human readable. So these are the uh, agenda for today. Uh, we have three requisite sites and register for the site and community, how to enable experience bundle, create a sample community, retrieve and deploy communities, and how to add the dependent components to the deployment. Let's see one by one. So first is prerequisites. Um, what are all the pre-required steps for uh, retrieving an experience bundle or a community through experience bundle deployment? So these are they. So you have to register a site and the community in your destination arc or wherever you are going to work when you want to retrieve experience bundle to uh, deploy that to the other community. So you should have a site and community registered already and uh, enable the experience bundle metadata API and adding the dependent component to your deployments to make sure there is no more error related to the missing components. And the successive deployments don't need the site or network files, only experience bundle is more than enough. So, so we will also see like uh, creating a sample community uh, in order to avoid few pre-built uh, files is missing error. So we will be seeing in uh, moving forward slides. Okay. So these are the prerequisites. And let's see how to set up a community or sites. So everyone know already like if whoever worked with the force.com sites before, this is the step we will be registering for a site. So you need to go to set up site and then provide your domain and uh, domain name and uh, verify whether domain is available and register for it. Uh, if you do, don't do this step, you might face this error, right? Uh, so site is not active or false, that error will be uh, uh, faced when you deploy. And uh, the second step will be like uh, registering for the communities. So this is the step, like you need to go to communities um set up communities and community settings let's quickly see how you will do that um so this is the place you will be registering for the sites this is your domain name and register likewise for the community settings you need to go to the communities and make it active by providing the registration so the next thing so these are the two steps. These should be available in your destination arc to move your communities. So the third option is enabling the experience bundle. So uh, the new option is provided by uh, Salesforce right in the new update. So once you have to uh, make your community as a human readable format or before migrating, you need to enable this in the community settings. Go to the setup communities and community setting and enable this option. So quickly show that so under community settings you'll be saying enable community experience bundle option okay so if you don't enable this you will be facing some error again so these are the possible error if you don't enable this before deploying your community or if you're trying to retry without enabling this uh, you will face this error because community will be bundled with the roots, views, brand sets, themes, and config. So these are the human readable folders. So it will face, uh, we will face issue if you don't have this enabled before. So the next step is creating a sample community. Why should we need to create a sample community? So that is because uh, if you are deploying your com first community, I mean, very first community to your production, and there are no more sites or communities already exist in your uh, deployment, I mean, in your destination R, you will be doing the sample community creation to uh, collect the pre-required files. Like um, these are the pre-built uh, community login pages or landing self-registration pages. So these are the required ones. Uh, so we will be creating a sample community. Otherwise, you will be facing these errors. Okay. So uh, what if you already have a community, then you don't need to worry. You can just use the experience bundle and deploy. 
so the next option is uh, retrieving and deploying community okay you have built your community now how we can migrate it so you can migrate or deploy your community in two ways one is site.com sites and uh, through chain set or through and you can export through the site.com sites now we have experience bundle this is the option to retrieve through experience bundle uh, this is the uh, these are the package.xml metadata files uh, components you have to include in your package.xml like custom site experience bundle and then network uh, previously we used to do the chain set with site.com network and community site similarly instead of site.com we will be using um, experience bundle in our uh, ant retrieval we cannot retrieve experience bundle through chain set this is one more uh, point here and this is an example if i have a community named my community so the network name would be my community and the experience bundle name will always be appended with one that means how the picasso site will be generated based on the site so site name and community name uh, will be same but the experience bundle will be always appended with one whatever your community name is okay so and the next thing is adding a dependent components adding all your dependent components to your community will make your deployment more successful uh, because you may have asset files or lwc components or html files or uh, whatever like uh, apart from communities you may include some other dependent components in your community when deploying in the builder uh, sorry when developing in your builder so if you forgot to include any one you may face error so those error might be understandable or sometimes it will be not directly uh, proposed so make sure your all dependent components are there before deploying your community okay so for i have taken one example here like uh, i have the content asset file i have my aura component as well as static resource so all these are included in my deployment to make it more successful if i miss any one we will face this error some errors okay so uh, let me show an example then come back to the questions okay so this is my sample community and uh, this is my production uh, components and these are my sandbox components okay so these are my sandbox component i have page one page two uh, added here uh, here too i have page one but i don't have page two so what i can do just copy uh, my sandbox page two um, uh, from the views as well as the roads so uh, before more doing that i would like to explain one more thing like uh, in the experience bundle you will have the branding set files as a readable format like whatever branding you have and configurations you have set up login access main setup and then your community setup all will be set up here and the community pages right whatever community pages you include will be in the views as well as roads so if you have a page like check password uh, it will be available in roots as well the root and the views are always interconnected so you have to copy both okay let me copy sandbox page 2 into uh, production similarly i'm copying roots page 2 into my production so before moving this i would like to show here uh, this is my production uh, community i made it as inactive because i made it uh, like down for maintenance in the status so it is for inactive status now but this is my sandbox and i have page 2 page 3 if you look into the uh, production builder i'll be having only page 1 i'll just uh, make sure before deploying it
so here i have only have the page one but here i have page two and three but before uh, developing page three i didn't retrieve so i have only page two in my local if you want to retrieve page three also you can retrieve and uh, put it in your uh, instance so let me go to production I am validating prod now before deploying. Just want to make sure no errors. So meanwhile, it is validating. I will quickly show the setup that I did for making community as inactive. So it is here. Yeah, the status is down for maintenance. But before deploying, I would like to make it as live. So uh, let's check whether. okay so i think something is missing over here uh, these are the i mean these are the errors if we miss the uh, content asset files so what i will do let me remove this is uh, sandbox right yeah this is production let me remove the page two for now and also here. And changing it to live. Okay, again I'm validating. Seems something is missing over here. Okay, so I think something is missing. Mm. Okay, so this is the process we used to deploy, like uh, if you want to migrate the files, I am missing something here, but uh, if I remove all these, like only I remove, uh, remove all these content asset or and everything and deploy whatever component I have, I will be deploying it successfully uh, without any error. So, uh, just I would like to show it in the sandbox instead I'll try one more time in my sandbox So meanwhile, it is validating. I will just go here and uh, uh, just mention some more thing. Like uh, this is the way you can make it as active and inactive for a community. And uh, one more thing here in the um, sites, if there is any subdomain, you have to mention that. As well as there will be some URL prefix, right? Whenever you provide a community and if you have some URL prefix, that should also be mentioned over here. Otherwise, the, we will face the error. Uh, similarly, uh, by adding it in site as well as in network. Uh, so these are the two main things in network. And in the experience uh, option, experience bundle, 
you will be having the configuration files right so here you will be having the main app page id this will be common in your when you move this uh, move the pages because in production on your sandbox this page is identified this id is identified and uh, to connect the views and the routes all the routes will have this id all the pages sorry not routes so and uh, views and routes are connected through the view type so this view type will be mentioned in the routes so that's how it is connected interconnected and uh, uh, in the in the my community json file uh, these all are these uh, mainly required uh, options like the parameters you should main mention this always in our deployment so let's see so my deployment is successful because my dev has that asset and i'm missing something in my deployment so always the dependent component should be available in the destination arc or either we should have add it in the uh, deployment components so that's all i have um, any questions so far